Hi, this is Mark from Sound Matters, and today I'm going to show you how you can inspect and check the quality of used vinyl records when you are purchasing online. So, very often you could take a very typical eBay listing of a used record like this one here, a copy of Dark Side of the Moon, and you may well get an image of the record, also the sleeve perhaps, um, but what we want to do is take a look at this image in a little bit more detail. We're going to use some image editing software to, to actually check this vinyl record and we're going to use that to, to find out whether there's any hidden scuffs or scratches that are difficult to see from this photo. This is the, the, the typical sort of photo you very often get of a record when you're looking at a listing online and just because of the nature of the way lighting works and most people are taking images using their cell phone, uh, it's quite difficult to actually be able to see and show up the real condition of the record, to see the true extent of any scratches. It's not the same as when you're inside a record store, for example, and you're inspecting a record, you'll hold it up to the light, take a look at the surface, uh, twist it around a little bit, uh, try and catch those scratches or scuffs in the light. It's it's not quite as easy when you do it. You, uh, you might get a good listing where you've got several images. I mean, this one's actually pretty good. There's, there's some um, scuffs showing up here that are taken, somebody's actually taken the time to be honest about that, but very often you'll just get the single image and it's very difficult to tell what you're actually dealing with so what we can do is we can download this image so we're going to click on here we're going to right click and we're going to save that image so i'm going to just give that file name dark side i'll save that to our desktop and then what we're going to do is we're going to open up that image in Photoshop. So I'm using this as an example because this is the image editing software that I have, but you could in theory do this with uh, any edit, em, image editing software that enables you to play with similar parameters as, as Photoshop. So we've uploaded our image, here it is, and what we're going to do is we're going to play with the levels and the brightness settings in order to try and show up some of the hidden details. So first of all, I quite like to sort of bring up the brightness a little bit. We're dealing with quite dark records. So we're gonna just bring this up a little bit here and just show up what we can see. We're going to go back to images and then we're going to now adjust the levels. So bring up the level tool here and we can start to kind of reveal what's kind of going on here. So minor adjustments. Have a play with the settings and just see what starts to show up. Now looking at this record, that's not too bad actually, but what we're going to do now is we're going to we're going to enable that setting and we're going to zoom in a little to just try and see some of the further details. So from this, it's revealing a little bit more than the images were uh, listed online. So we can see some pretty bad fingerprints here, some scuffing around the side of the record. Uh, we can see another scratch here and the scratch that looks like the one that was photographed by the um, by the uh, the lister, the eBay. So uh, we can see from this that perhaps there's a little bit more going on than perhaps is obvious from the listing. So um, that's quite useful. I'm gonna do this on another one that I've also saved in here earlier. So here's another image that I've taken here where um, in all honesty, I've taken a, a record that I have that I know has significant scratches on it. So uh, here, looking at the image, it doesn't look too bad from just the image that I've taken. Um, but just for the purpose of the example, we're going to do this with this image as well. So I'm um, going to do a similar thing. I'm going to go back here to the brightness setting. I'm going to raise that brightness quite high. And already I can start to see more clearly quite a lot of scratches on the surface of that record around here, for example. There's quite a lot going on. There's more here. Um, I'm going to click OK and save that and I'm going to go back to images here and adjustments and levels again and we can start to reveal things even more when we kind of, we don't want to oversaturate the light there but 
it's interesting what you can reveal just by playing with some of the settings. Um, if you've got image editing software of any variety, uh, you could even perhaps even do this on your on your on your cell phone. I mean, these days with an iPhone, you can edit brightness settings and all kinds of uh, contrast settings and everything just from the um, just from the mobile phone itself. But uh, as I say, for the purpose of the example, we're using Photoshop here today. But um, let's zoom in here then and just see what that's revealed. Uh, quite a lot see all that there it was a lot harder to see there's more scratches around here this is a record that if it was listed on ebay another scratch there look you see scuff here um more sort of scratches over here scuffs uh, most of it seems to be on the top hand here um and it's revealing a lot more than it would be from a standard image that had not been edited. So I, I really feel this is a useful tool if you just want uh, to, to to check a little bit further into um, uh, a listing before you kind of commit to purchasing. It's quite a helpful tool. So it's not foolproof. You'll sometimes get some image quality downloads uh, that people have uploaded to eBay that, um, that just simply aren't very good images, uh, but really it is quite a useful tool. So um, be keen to hear if anybody else has tried this before. Let me know in the comments. Uh, so tell me how you how you got on. Uh, and thanks very much for watching. For more vinyl-related videos, um, please do consider subscribing. And we will see you in the next video. Cheers.